Hi, so we are here doing an uh, energy balancing session with this lovely person, Douglas. So Douglas, maybe just recap some of the issues you have. So your left knee, you said you have uh, pain all the time. So from a child, you have a knee pain on crutches. So how much pain do you have now? So I would say a, a six out of 10, six. at least a six, six or a seven. So your pain is uh, all the time, 24 hours, seven? Yes. So you try all kinds of things in your life? Yeah, so I, I do stretching. I do uh, postural alignment. There's a program called Agasku, which is looking at alignment. So if your shoulder's down, it tells you your hips out, that kind of thing. I do red light therapy. I do icing. I do self-massage or a heating pad turmeric, herbs, and I see an acupuncturist. And I ask for, and there's an old saying from uh, the Yorba tradition. It says, Grandmother Earth holds us for life is hard. So I pray to my ancestors. So why, why did you go on crutches when you were a child? What's the uh, disease that gave you? There was a disease called leg perthes the ball in the socket deteriorates. And what happened was I kept falling down all the time. They thought I had polio at that point, but I went to a hospital and they identified it as Lake Perthes. It's a disease in the ball in the socket and it doesn't get enough blood. It's a congenital disease. Mm -hmm. So the solution at that time was, you know, a month and a half of traction and then I had to carry my leg around for five years, no weight on the leg. And then you also have your right hip uh, issues. Uh, what's the pain now? So, you know, again, I say I just got back from the gym. So, you know, that hurts all the time. So six. I would say six or seven, six yeah, or at seven, least. Uh, like but you also <laughs> said about your heart. Uh, so did you get a stroke or, or was that? No, was it no, they, they uh, put a stent in my heart. You know, they had to, um, it was called the widow maker, which is the lateral ascending part of the main chamber. Very much a surprise. All my blood work was, was not unusual, but it was a great gift. I, I, I learned many, many things from that experience. It was a great gift. Okay, now. Okay, so what we do now is we will uh, relax and then, <laughs> and then we think about the light go to the hip first and then we will have the light go to the knee. Okay. So head, relax, breathe in. Okay, breathe out. Neck, relax. Breathe in. Breathe out. Shoulders relax. Breathe in. Breathe out. Chest relax. Breathe in. Breathe out. Abdomen relax. Breathe in. Breathe out. Back, relax, breathe in, breathe out. Arms, relax, breathe in, breathe out. Legs, relax, breathe in, breathe out. So, you have experience with Qigong already. You know how to relax yourself. So you just keep thinking about relaxing yourself. And then we always think about divine energy arrive to me. And then we can flow it, bring it to where the issues are. It's like a light, it's qi, it's an energy. So I will put my mind on your hip joint the right hip joint. Thank you.
Very nice. So keep thinking about sending chi to the right hip. You know where you have the pain. And I feel them too. So we have done about five minutes now. So we will just leave the hip now. We will go to the left knee. So left knee, you have the inside, you have the outside, right? Mm -hmm. the, the whole behind the knee. Behind the knee, yeah. Oh, behind the knee more. Yeah. So the most pain is behind the knee. And on the inside and behind the knee, yes. Inside and behind, the left knee. Yes. Okay, so we will visualize together and I will just, uh, my mind will go there. So let's work on that. But we always send the light. Let the universal chi arrive to you. It's almost like God's energy arrive. It's just all the good energy come to me. And I like to bring it to where my body feel weak. Improve the light, light force energy inside us is what we doing, improving circulation. Breathe in, relax. Breathe in. Relax. Breathe in. Relax. Breathe in. Relax. How you are you doing? Doing well, thank you. I feel relaxed. Oh yes. Okay. Do you feel anything uh, uh, of energy happening with you? Yeah, I, I do. I, I think the knee feels a little better. The hip still still hurts, and if I'm sitting, it hurts. You know, so sitting is not good. <laughs> no, one step at a time. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> baby steps. No, yeah. Well, we just did. We we did about seven eight minutes so far, so it's not very much time. No. So um, let's focus. For me, the knee is improving. I see the energy improving. Let me check on your hip. I tune in. Okay. The way 
the way the chi works is improving the life force. It's like getting an energy boost. It's like the people get an energy boost strength, right? So we're getting an energy chi boost in a way as I relax, my circulation improve. But we 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 it's science that we can think and then we can pick up a nice energy from the universe and our body think as we think. We And then you are doing with me. You are practicing breathing qigong right now with me. Okay, breathe in, breathe out. Then you help the energy flow. Mm, awesome. I'm actually on your hip right now. So if you can sit and become comfortable, that is awesome. So breathe in, breathe out. So I'll go back to, to your left knee. Um, It's a process. It's like when people uh, go to learn any exercise, any practices, there's a learning behind. So right now we are actually learning how to connect with our own energy, with me facilitating how to think and how to think, how to think. And how my body can think together. <laughs> it's really all thinking. So let me uh, see if uh, have you stand up for a bit. And then and then what we're going to do, you can back a step. Back a step. Yeah. Because you mentioned about, about when you raise your leg, then the knee can hurt. Can you show me? It's, see if it's better already. Uh, is it better or is it whatever it is? It, it is better. It's so tight, but uh, yeah, it's it, it feels better. Uh, yeah, yes, I would say I would say I would say it went down. It, you know, so if it was a six before, you know, it's at least a five. Yeah, you know. some 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 uh, some encouragement. Yes, exactly. Of some course. I'm not sure, but it's encouraging. Well, yeah, it's the I first am... time, uh, first time we're meeting too. And then let's see how uh, your hip is about. Yeah, that still hurts, you know. That... So, well, how how does it hurt? If I'm just standing, it hurts. It's hurting now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now just stand, <laughs> stand there. Now. Just stand there. Let me just focus on the hip a bit. So we, we work together. Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. Relax and keep relaxing. Can, can you change position? Yeah. 
just just the change of it. Yeah. <laughs> So can you, uh, you, just now you were standing a certain position and then your hip hurts, how is it now? I think standing is better than sitting. So it does feel better. Yeah, it, feel, it feels better. It feels a bit better. It does. Yeah. So, it does. Let, so maybe you sit down on a chair and see if uh, in the chair <laughs> you said it hurts more, uh, try that. It's fun. Yeah. It's fun to find out. Hmm. It's still a little sore under the glutes, you know, under the gluteus or the or the sit bone, but but I, I can feel the energy, you know. I I, I I I mean, I believe in the energy. You know? <laughs> so no, what what we mean is, we don't need it to be uh, how much more better. We just want to see yeah, the tightness a little, a little bit less tight, or maybe something seems to be changing a little bit yeah. better. That's all. I, mean. yeah. I think that I think I would accept what you say to be true. Yes, it has changed yeah, a I little. Mean, well, things happen. It's, it's not. not gonna, it's not going to. It's not going to go from. It's not going to go from a seven to zero. But if it went to a five, that's improvement. Yeah. Yeah, it's just encourage uh, to see anything happening, right? Expect a miracle. Yeah. I hear yeah. you. <laughs> okay, when you had it like 60 years already <laughs> 60 years yeah. but basically we don't we didn't do 60 minutes we basically <laughs> spent 20 minutes for two things when they are 60 years old right so which is uh beautiful now, now look at the knee again your knee uh, mm -hmm. so you were saying they are hurting all the time and then usually you would need to put an IEs afterwards, after you go to the gym. Right. Mm. So the kind of pain you have now, you said is improving a bit. Mm. Okay. So isn't it interesting to see what's going on? Mm -hmm. Life is a great teacher. So is it as bad now in the same sitting position? It's kind of interesting. Or is it changing because we were breathing, we were meditating, and it's, it's changing? Yeah, let's think about this. Certainly, all of that is good. All of that is good to do. That's good medicine, yes. Yeah, so something has improved. Mm. But it's not very clear yet that's what it is. It, it's right. something has improved, which is interesting. Mm. So can I have you stand up again? You stand up and you can hold your leg again. Uh, you know, you say, uh, go back. You say when you raise your leg, then uh, then it's usually when it hurts more. Let, let, let us see when you do it. Is it a little bit easier than before? Yeah, I think I would say it is, it is easier. Yes, yeah, a little bit easier, that's all. That's yeah, good. I'll yeah. take it. I'll take e easier. Easier is good. <laughs> yeah, well, it's like a little bit easier. Why not, right? Well, so, yeah, well. a bit easier is good. Mm. Sounds good. And how's the hip? Is it a little bit easier? Isn't that nice? Yeah, it, it's, it's all, it's, it, it's coming. Yeah, so. it's nice. Yeah, awesome. So, I would say one thing you could be uh, doing is uh, when you are standing, you can also like uh, interchange uh, your leg, uh, one leg to one side and then the other leg. Oh. It, it's, it's almost that you you move your leg one to the, the other side gently. Uh, so they are not on one leg too long and then interchanging the leg. And you can be a very relaxingly thinking how to loosen up your body as you're moving one leg to the other leg. Could be a nice little Qigong practice for you. Breathe in. I understand. Very gently moving it. Okay, yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And then, thank you. Thank you. Well, Master Teresa, thank you for spending some time and and to give your um, your talents away. I I will take the energy and let it simmer in me, and then yeah. I will pass it forward to the people okay. I work with. Yes. Well, I. 
I, I also want to thank Douglas allow me to uh, take this. My thinking is if this little chi meditation on the knee pain or hip pain can help Douglas, maybe people can watch it and practice together and release a little bit of their pain. Isn't that also a gift to give to people, right? Of course. And maybe there's a gift here to say, even if you're older, there's still hope for you. Yes. Well, doing some is better than not doing, right? Of course, of course. Yeah, and you can yeah, meditate yeah. and think and the steps and you can play the video as much as you want. And that there's no uh, contacting you. You are the one controlling how you want to do it or not want to do it. So uh, you are making your own choice. And we welcome you to practice Qigong with us. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, Thank bye -bye. you. Thank you.